All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. I come from Athens, Greece. Actually, it's the second time I visit your country. Everybody, anybody, anyone has visited Greece from here? Greece, no one? All right. All right, you should try. We have a lot of sun. All right, let's see the topic. All right. Who knows MSF? What it stands for? No one? All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, this presentation actually was delivered for first time during the PMI EMEA Global Congress. Do you know Project Management Institute? Yeah. Probably you know it. All right. It was delivered at Budapest two years ago. Uh, what's in the agenda? We're going to see what's, what is the name of MSF, what's the explanation, what obstacles we face when we deliver IT projects, the foundation principles, the mindsets, and the proven practices, or best practices as we call them, how we build the MSF team, what we do about the risk management, and how we divide the project into phases. Probably, has anybody seen this? And everybody, all right. All right. What the customer explained, what the project leader understood, what the analyst designed, the programmer wrote, the business consultant described, completely different. Documentation, zero, nothing, who cares? What operations told something, a rope? Of course, we charge the customer a lot of money, yes. No support at all, and what the customer wanted. That's the problem in project management. Now, I have a quick quiz for you. You are the project manager on a software development project with 20 people on your team. The project is behind time. Do you know the meaning of SPI 80%, 0.8? This means that you are going to deliver the project 25% of the time late. So you are late, and someone must talk to the customer about the following issue. The developers, again, are not sure about the functionality of a form. Who talks to the customer? Who? All right, I have some answers for you. You can choose from the answers. You, the project manager, that's why we pay you. The developer working on the form, he should be very careful. Any developer, it's fine. The account manager, anyone from the team, six, none of the above. Which is the correct answer? If you know the answer, you can leave. If you don't, you can stay. All right, we'll see the answer later. All right, let's see what's the definition of MSF. MSF gives guidance on how to organize people and projects in order to deliver successful projects or better IT solutions, as we call them. Do you know the difference between methodology and framework? Can you tell me one methodology? Do you know Prince too? Yes, Prince 2 is a methodology. A methodology gives you specific instructions on how to do something. A framework is a set of tools that you can use when you need them. There are many people saying that we prefer the methodology, especially people from the United Kingdom, because Prince 2 is very famous there. There are other people saying, no, we don't want the methodology. We prefer a, fr a framework in order to use the tools we need. So, framework, actually, it's like a compass. Now, what's MSF about? MSF actually is about five things. First one, the team model. What's the meaning of the team model? Actually, MSF is the only framework or methodology that gives specific roles to the team members. The process model. The process model is how to divide a project into phases. Is it easy to divide a project into phases? No, it's not. In every industry, they have the same problem. When you ask the people to divide the project into phases, they have problems to do it. 
and we have three disciplines. The project management discipline, the risk management discipline, and the readiness discipline. So MSF is about five things. Everything I'm describing is free on the web. MSF is free for everyone to use. So, what is the purpose of MSF? It is to deliver IT solutions faster, with fewer people, with less risk, and with high quality. What is the main problem you have when you deliver IT projects? What are the, the problems you are facing? You cannot get the requirements from the customer? Yes, always. Always around the planet, yes, the same issue. MSF is technology agnostic, which means it's not related to any technology. All right. Do you know this dialogue? Alice, would you tell me, please, which way I should take from here? Cut. That depends a lot on where you want to go. Alice, I don't much care where. Cut. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. Do you get the meaning behind it? If you don't have a target, then you are lost in the fog. All right, where it comes from? Actually, MSF comes from internally Microsoft. In, um, Microsoft actually calls MSF the daily cycle. Do you know the meaning of daily cycle? Daily cycle? Daily cycle means every day the developers write code and the next day, the testers test the code every day, every single day. So it comes from Microsoft Consulting Services and mainly from Microsoft Partners. A lot of companies around the globe use MSF as best practices in order to deliver IT projects. Now, actually there are two versions of MSF. MSF version 3 and MSF version 4. Here you see Agile. CMMI, probably you know CMMI, CMM, CMMI, infrastructure deployment. So it covers most of them. Now, what are the problems we face today? Do you know these two books? Anyone? Have you heard anything about globalization? Yes. Uh, Thomas Friedman is believed to be the guy for defining globalization. This is an old one. This book comes from, uh, I think it was published 2001 or 2002, the, the Lexus on the Olive Tree, and this is the new one. If you want to buy only one, buy the new one. If you want to buy both of them, buy them and read them. them. It describes everything we face today. What's the meaning of globalization? Do you, do you work in virtual teams? Do you have people working outside your teams? Yes, everybody. Everybody is saying that actually the people are not in the room. The people are around the globe. So what are the problems? Not common language. We do not speak the same language. Unclear goals. Different people have different goals. We cannot manage the scope. Do you know the meaning of scope creep? What's the definition of scope creep? If you search Google for scope creep, you are going to find millions of references. Scope creep means that the scope of the project is changing and we cannot control it. What's the meaning of it? We have a failed project. Actually, scope creep is the main reason of all IT project failures. Separation of business and technology. Many people, especially developers, pay more attention to technology than to business. Developers should pay more attention to business and not to technology. Technology is a tool to support the business. Failure to communicate. Ah, all right, I will be talking for an hour. Do you know what you hear? You don't hear what I say. What do you hear? What you want to hear. Yes, 